good morning good morning everybody um, so I just want to give you a brief update um, again my name is Antonella for those who don't know me or have or if this is your first video um, this is just an update on my um, lupus uh, lupus so it's so just an lupus update and so I've been having issues with my my throat my voice last year I had bronchitis really badly um, it probably it was like borderline pneumonia um, and I had like really severe inflammation in my throat to the point to the point where my throat was shut I could like I couldn't speak for like, I didn't have a voice for maybe a month and so I've noticed Ever since then, my voice just never been the same. As you can hear, my voice is horrible. I am like, it's like a struggle just talking. It's like a struggle right now. I feel like I'm forcing myself. And um, like right here is like my muscles. My vocal cords are on overload because I'm like really trying to use my outside voice. And it's like, it's hurting. It's like, I'm tired. It's like, I'm tired. So, anyways, I made an appointment to see my doctor tomorrow early. They're like, they wanted to see me. Like, as soon as she she heard the voice of my sound, like the the sound of my voice, she was like, "Oh no, you do you need to come now? Like, I could come see, you know, you need to come now." I was like, "Unfortunately, I'm going to work. What about tomorrow?" And she was like, "Okay, I'm gonna see you like first thing in the morning." seven o'clock I'm like I didn't even know she was open that early so tomorrow I am going to get checked for my throat um, I wanted to say something that is very alarming to me because I've noticed you know and you need to notice like the season in your life you know things that are repetitive and things that are happening at a certain time of the year and I know I've realized specifically every time like every year like around this time April May June I've always gotten sick like I've always it's always been the the time of my life where my health is like shh. <coughs> it's also been a time when I fully try to dedicate my life to God fully trying to focus on the things of God I feel like my health is an area of my life that I've always been I've always been challenged in I've always been it's always been like a part because I've, I've had issues with it like I've had issues not issues but challenges um, with my health and and it was a time when I didn't understand why I was getting sick and why me like I, it, it was this thing that I was, I would go back and forth with God, like on my end. Why, why would I have, why would I go through this? Like, why now that I'm finally trying to do the right thing, trying to live my life right, trying to be holy or you know, live righteously, and then I'm getting hit with this? Like, why? Like, you know. And I remember during this time of my life earlier on when I was like a baby in Christ, I would like really like envy people that were healthy and not just healthy, but people that are healthy that are purposely or making the choice uh, to poison themselves with like, say for example, like smoking because I've had, I struggled with asthma too because of the inflammation in my lungs and fluid build up and you know I'm, I'm struggling to breathe and there you go this healthy person is smoking away their life and you know by choice you know what I'm saying like people are out here struggling to live and there you go smoking and I just had an issue with people that smoke like, I just like hated them like I had this hate in my heart that started building up towards them like I would just despise them like I would just look at them like disgusted like I would see them and not have a care in the world to try to pray for them so that maybe their heart would turn around and and that they would just you know 
want to live healthy i just i just like just couldn't understand it you know what i'm saying so i think maybe the enemy is just like trying to take my love like just attack on the way that i love on people <coughs> and <coughs> he used <coughs> excuse me y'all i'm sorry and he used the way <coughs> I'm sorry, I just want to make sure I'm in the right lane. And so, <clears throat> so I think, I don't know. I just feel like it's been an attack on the way I love people. It's been an attack on, because I know I have so much to give. I have a passion for people and love. And now here it goes. There's an attack on how I look or view people. And I should not view anybody that way. God loves them and I should love them as well. So I'm saying this to say there's always something, there's always something going on with me, but um you know, you know what I mean? Like so I had to really look at that season of my life and being able to evaluate where I am. Um and do something about it. I think um, what has helped me a lot with this walk of mine is my faith. Because even though I do feel like I've been attacked at times during this period of my life, because I think this is... Because there, there's a certain area in your life where you lack faith. And I know that this is an area where I don't want to walk in false humility and feel like and just act like I got it all together because I don't. But I know, I know God has done it before. He, this is the part of my life where I've experienced God the most. Um, last night, <clears throat> listen, y'all, last night I was so sick. Last night I was so exhausted. And like I, like I told a few people that when a person, especially somebody that have lupus or chronic illness, tell you, tell you they're exhausted or tired, believe them yo like it's serious i was so tired that i lay down on my bed and i had the intention to like you know eat and do things but i was so tired like i couldn't even get up like my body my body was paralyzed like it was like crippled like it was just like i couldn't even roll out of the bed most of the time most of the time i probably would be able to like roll out but <coughs> It was one of those that, even if I wanted to, if my house was, like, on fire, I probably, probably wouldn't be able to get up. It was one of those for yesterday. If it was on fire, I probably would have been stuck on my bed. That's how bad it was. I'm serious. But, God, I'm just, I'm just praying to God that I can really find what's going on with me um, and tackle the problem. You know what I did yesterday? I do remember laying hands on myself and I had to pray. I remember praying. And I remember even praying in my sleep, yo. It was like so serious. I was praying in my sleep. I was praying. I was My eyes was closed and I was sleeping but I was praying. I was I went like this. I was laying. I laid hands on myself. And sometimes you just have to because sometimes you don't have no one to do it for you. And so, yeah. So that's that. That's just an update. So tomorrow, I'm excited that I'm going to at least be able to go to the doctor, find out what's really going on here, up here. All in here, what's going on is some type of inflammation, some type, something going on right here that needs, that needs attention. So, all right, guys, I am going to work. And hope all is well with you guys. Have a blessed day. God loves you and I love you. Bye.